again! Welcome back to Myths, Legends, Stories, and Tales with Lady Leoden. Today, we're going to read a Ukrainian story. It is The Mitten by Jan Brett. Once, there was a little boy named Nicky. He wanted mittens as white as snow. If you drop a white mitten in the snow, it will be hard to find, his grandmother told him. What do you think would happen if you dropped a white mitten in the snow? Do you think you'd be able to find it? I don't know. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens so much that Baba made, him, made them for him. When she finished knitting, Nikki put on the mittens and went out to play. It wasn't long before one mitten fell off. Well, he's not wearing his mittens, is he? No wonder he lost them. A little mole found it and crawled inside. It was just the right size, so he decided to stay. It was probably nice and warm inside. A rabbit came hopping by. He wriggled in next to the mole. They were probably all nice and toasty in that little mitten. Then a hedgehog wanted to get warm. The mole and the rabbit made room for him. The owl didn't want to be left out, so the mole and the rabbit and the hedgehog had to move over. The little mitten was getting a little crowded. Do you think that Nicky has missed his mitten yet? Doesn't look like it because he doesn't even have any mittens on. A badger looked out of his house and saw the mitten. He climbed right in. It started to snow, so a fox pushed his way in and made himself right at home. Look, there's Nicky. He's sledding. Oh, you see the bear? Bear sees the mitten now, too. Then a big bear sniffed at the mitten. The animals were packed in tight, but he, the bear didn't care. He crawled in anyway. The mitten was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. He still hasn't missed his mitten yet, has he? Silly Nicky. Look, here comes a mouse. I wonder what's going to happen with the mouse. Then a tiny mouse squeezed in and perched herself right on the big bear's nose. Uh-oh, looks like Nicky now just realized that his other mitten is missing. He just has one. Where could it have held and landed? The mouse's whiskers, the mouse's whiskers tickled Bear's nose. Ah, 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 achoo! The bear sneezed. All the animals flew out of the mitten. Oh, look, Nicky is searching all over for his white mitten. Nicky saw his mitten sail up into the air. Oh, no, look at all the poor little animals. They all just kind of got blown all over the place. From the window, Baba watched Nikki catch his mitten. See, Baba, he called to her. I have both my mittens. And Baba smiled. Mm, look, all of the animals are looking for their dens. The end. But don't you know, Baba is wondering why the other mitten is quite a bit larger than the other one. 
I've had socks that get larger than the two, same pair. One's larger than the other. My feet are the same size. Have you ever had that happen? That's all the time we have for today. We'll see you next time.